Hey, what's up, Street Talks? It's Eric from the Eric from Street Photography Blog. So, I wanted to do a fun little video in terms of uh, inspired by my buddy Bellamy Hunt from Japan Camera Hunter. What's in my bag? So, this is actually a prototype I've been using. This is going to be the upcoming Air Kim bag. Might or might not be made, but essentially, I just want to show you what's inside my bag. So, first of all, in the front little pocket here, got a copy of Street Notes. So, obviously, uh, Cindy publishes these. Lots of very useful tips in terms of how to shoot street photography. Lots of great tips, assignments, and inspiration. So obviously I use this as a teaching tool, so this is always with me. Also in my bag is the film like MP with a 35 millimeter F2 Summicron lens. Had this camera for about five years now. It's probably the best film camera ever made. And also one thing I wanted to preview is currently it's not in stock yet it's trust me it's coming up very very soon is the prototype of da, 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 the new air kim strap so i am super excited for this so first of all big thanks to cindy's family for actually making this uh cindy's younger sister jennifer helped with this very clever packaging this is a camera strip air kim um, it goes back from the modern art, like this is a pipe, it's kind of a piss take at that. So in terms of just the unboxing, slide it out, okay. Dun, 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 dun. The unreveal. Ooh. What's inside this black felt? It also comes with a little card. Just shoot it. So. This should be our motto in terms of photography and street photography. And also, just something for you to keep in your wallet or your, your bag. Just little tips. When in doubt, click. So if you see a good street photography scene and you're like, oh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a good shot or not, just make the photo. Tip two, shoot a scene 25% more than you think you should. So let's say you're shooting street photography, you see a guy, you're like, oh, you look so cool, I like your face tattoo. Do you mind if I made a few portraits of you? He said, sure. And you take like 10 photos and you're like, okay, I feel a little awkward. It's time for me to go. At that moment, try to shoot two or three more photos. Try to push yourself, say, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think I got a good photo. And while you're making the photos, show them in the LCD screen. Take three steps closer. Honestly, the biggest issue that I personally have in street photography, and I know a lot of us do, is that we're not close enough. Obviously, you don't have to be like that close to somebody, but to a certain extent, if you want to make better photos, you have to get closer. And the last tip is enjoy the process. So I kind of learned this from my buddy Vishal, who runs camerafilmphoto.com. Enjoy the process because it ain't about making good photos. It's about making good experiences and making new friends on the streets. So this is the packaging. And inside, got this nice little velvety black paper. And to unreveal it, Ooh, it's a little bit hard to see because it's black on black, but we have it all murdered out. So here is the new Air Kim strap. And you can see for your convenience sake, we included this little, um, this little string here. So the purpose of this little, it looks like kind of like, it's like a piece of uh, wax. Um, so you could thread this through your camera loop and then essentially put on the the wrist strap and my mom and cindy's mom spent a lot of time packaging it it's it's a very small and elegant strap and my inspiration is that obviously the strap's not going to be a better photographer the reason i made it is it's actually perfectly compatible i mean essentially all cameras like i have it on the film leica essentially my biggest issue was on the rico gr which is actually my personal favorite digital camera it's the only digital camera i own it has this stupid loop thing right here, and there wasn't any market um, straps on the market, which I personally liked, that had this little tiny string here that was attached to the camera strip. And so, essentially, if you own a Ricoh jar, please support us and buy one. And the thing I love about it is that you put it on your wrist. I mean, obviously it's solid. We've actually been prototyping this for almost like two years. And I usually put my wrist, just slide it here, and it's pretty stuck. And the thing that I love about it, it's my buddy Matt 
uh, Morrison came up with the idea. It's like, you should make a black strap because it's all murdered out. It looks cool. Everything in black is all cooler. And everything's all black. It's very comfortable. Very high quality. I just love the way it feels against my wrist. No, like, chafing or nothing like that. And the small little accents, like this little bronze right here. And also, if you wanted to switch it, essentially, you could pull this all the way out. Just reverse it and put it back in. And my ultimate hope for you is that by using the wrist strap, and I recommend using it on smaller cameras, don't use it on big cameras, is that this is helping you hold your camera more and just capture more personally meaningful, decisive moments. And for you to hesitate less and for us to just shoot it. If you see a good scene, just shoot it. Uh, don't think too much about it. And also, I've been testing it out on the film Leica, and it still works. You could you could still loop it in here, and this mofo is solid. Like I could swing it around, and I'll. I mean, I, okay. Obviously, I'm a huckster, and I like to sell my own shit. But I, I actually use my own shit, which is actually pretty cool. So in terms of um, what else I have in the bag, so. Also, I got from Jennifer's, uh, Cindy's younger sister, just got like a old pink <laughs> iPod Nano. And let's see what I, what I have on this. And the reason I got this was I, I, don't, have a, I don't have a cell phone anymore. So I just kind of needed a way to listen to music when I'm at the gym. So it's kind of booting up right now. I, my favorite music is I listen to hip hop. So in terms of the albums I have on my A little bit hard to see, but got Compton by Dr. Dre, Dan by Kendrick Lamar. I got The Life of Pablo, Yeezus. <laughs> I got uh, Major Key, DJ Khaled, Only One, and also You Mad. And this is just music that I just kind of wild out to and go cray cray. Also, in my bag, Sharpie. You never know when you need one. Also, I swear by these. Zeiss lens wipes. I use this all the time on my glasses. These glasses uh, get quite dirty, so it's easy to wipe it, and also you could use it to wipe your phones or your iPad or your laptop, whatnot. And also, I swear by <laughs> this. I get chapped lips all the time, and I've actually killed it. I've had this for almost for like a month. Carmex is the shit. And also just some extra rolls of film. Currently shooting Kodak Portrait 400, which I think is the most beautiful color film that's probably ever been made and exists on the market. It's starting to get really expensive. So my practical uh, suggestion in terms of uh, when you're out shooting, be more picky in terms of what you decide to shoot. But when you see something good, just uh, shoot the shit out of it. Some other, um, uh, yeah, so essentially the only two cameras I currently own are the film Leica MP and Digital Ricoh GR2. I think it's kind of the, the trifecta. For me personally, I just like to shoot urban landscapes, some pa family portraits, and essentially photos that I'm not in a rush to see. I personally like to shoot with the Ricoh GR as in terms of an everyday camera. To, uh, to be honest, the, the, the film like is usually just sitting at home. This is the everyday camera because, once again, using the Air Kim strap, stays locked on. I usually, I could, I could fit in my front pocket. I got stretchy pants. And once again, it just allows me to just shoot a scene and not think too much about it. In terms of technical settings, the I use on the Ricoh is uh, I usually have it stuck on P mode. So program mode, automatically chooses the aperture and shutter speed. If we turn it on, uh, nowadays I'm shooting RAW plus JPEG. And also one thing I've been doing is if you could press the side button here, I have the positive film preset on. And to be frank, most of the JPEG images actually look way better than any raw images I could process with color because I'm really bad at processing color. Everyone's like, oh, it's like, oh, Eric, you're over processing color. I'm like, I know, I, I'm really bad at it. And the positive film JPEG images out of the Ricoh GR2 actually look quite good, at least, at least to me. And, you know, and also you have raw just in case, you know, I want to change the white balance more or I'm trying to, I think I got, if you Google Air Kim Lightroom presets, you, know, you could download all my presets for free. The Monochrome 1600 Air Kim preset, 
it's pretty much perfect. It's optimized for the Ricoh GR2. My next frontier is to make a really good color preset. I mean, to be frank, the, the color presets I make, I've made, they still don't look that good, to be honest, but I've made, <laughs> I've made 30 iterations of the black and white Air Kim Monochrome 1600 preset, which I think looks absolutely beautiful on the Ricoh GR version 2. That gives me that film-like aesthetic that I personally like. Haven't found anything yet satisfactory for the Ricoh GR2 in terms of color. Also, these presets work essentially with any camera. But I'm currently using mostly JPEG on the camera. It just makes life a little bit easier and the skin tones look better. But, you know, I'm still working at it. And, you know, it, also if you want to just get really good presets that just work out of the box, highly recommend Visco, VSCO. Yes, you have to pay money, but you're supporting a company that really loves photography and... When I grew up, I was pretty poor and I, I never paid for software and information and stuff. And even though I give away my stuff for free, I like to actually pay money to support companies or support individuals that I believe in. And especially if you, if you have money, it's like, come on, like you don't, ha you don't have to pirate shit anymore. I mean, to be, to be honest, like if there's still movies that I want to watch and I, I can't be bothered, I can't find it on like a... Amazon stream or you can't find Netflix and I don't want to go to theater. I'll just I'll just I'll just download on Pirate Bay and I'll just watch it that way. But if you're gonna pirate something, my rule of thumb is almost act like the creator would see you pirate it and how would you ethically feel about it. So if you're cool with it, that's that's totally cool. But if you don't feel cool with that, maybe you should do something a little bit uh, differently. So it's essentially just don't do unto others as you don't want others to do unto you um, kind of thing. So support, uh, support local artists. I still am pretty convinced. I mean, I'm still trying to... I'm a total Rico Mafia fanboy. I think for less than 600... I think it's like 580 bucks now, like 600 bucks, whatever, US. It's really, I think, the best street photography camera on the market. Regardless of price, even better than any digital Leica. Because if, if it's in your front pocket, and I've made so many good photos. And also the cool thing is that it has a macro mode, meaning that I can shoot photos super close. Also, it's got a pop-up flash. So you can see all these uh, crazy photos. And also I just have a generic screen protector found on Amazon. And also it's got a nice little crack there. Actually, this photo is actually quite fun. But anyways, um, if you want to support Cindy and I in Haptic, please, 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 please pick up the Air Kim strap. I'll probably do another video once actually official, but I just, I'm like the ultimate hype man, so I want to build up the hype. This is the camera strap, Air Kim. And also it comes with this free, <laughs> little card that you know just just think like what would eric say put this in your little front pocket put it somewhere keep it somewhere safe um i don't know glue it to a notebook whatever and once again the, the eric kim strap it's not cheap it's not gonna make you a better photographer but all the proceeds are gonna go to help support open source photography support cindy and i um my caffeine addiction also to empower our family and my ultimate hope is to make a lot of money so i could build essentially uh, photo centers for poor kids because I used to be a poor kid and I just hope that when you're, you're wearing it just just think like I could be a good photographer irregardless of whatever and I just want you to shoot more so when in doubt just shoot it thanks for watching guys peace out